Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much again for stopping by. As you can see by my title today, I am back to share with you all Mac's newest collaboration collection. This is the Mac and Patrick Star Spring 2018 campaign, which if you didn't know, Patrick Star is actually the key collaborator for the year of 2018 with Mac, which essentially just means that he is going to have multiple collections throughout the year. He started off with holiday 2017 and now we are here spring 2018 of course by the time this video is up this collection will be available for purchase here in the states at maccosmetics.com it will also be available in stores and counters the following thursday before i get started i wanted to add a quick disclaimer to this video these products were not sent to me i am not on max pr list Above everything, I hope that my channel informs you all, shows you all swatches, and just gives you all my overall opinion on a new MAC collection or product that is coming out. That being said, this video is for informational purposes, and girl, you know I love me some makeup. So without further ado, if you are interested in seeing the Spring 2018 campaign, MAC Patrick Star, and definitely keep on watching. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of pink, as we all know, I love this design that he put on each and every one of the pieces in this collection. This collection is composed of two kits. These are $49.50 each and within each kit there is a face chart, there is a powder blush duo, there is an eyeshadow quad, there's a lipstick, and there's a lip gloss for $49.50. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by showing you all all the products that are in each kit then I'm going to show you all the swatches and then I will be back and let you all know my first impressions. Yay nay, what do I think? This is what the kit looks like. This box that I'm showing you is me so chic. It says right down here. But this is the box. Very, very nice. Very good size as you can see compared to my hand. And on the back, it just has all of the products that are in it and their ingredients. Just so you know, they all come individually wrapped. This is the face chart that comes in the Miso Chic box. On the back of the face chart, there's a little message. It says, spring into fierceness and blossom into your own beauty. Live your floral fantasy. XOXO, Patrick Starr. They all come individually wrapped. Right up top has this nice pink. It has Mac Patrick Star, and this is the detailing for the packaging. This is the lip glass, and it is called Mama Star Kiss. Look at this bullet. It's a really soft pink, and again, Mac Patrick Star, and that floral design on the bottom of it. Sweet Mama Star. It is an amplified cream finish. Sweet Mama Star is more of a nude color compared to Mama Star from the Holiday 2017 collection. Speaking for myself personally and actually also my mom, we really really love Mama Star lipstick. I love that lipstick. So this one is more of that nude, again perfect for spring. I think together with the eyeshadow that I actually have on right now. And the lip gloss absolutely matches it perfectly. This is the compact for the powder blush duo. This come with a mirror and this one is called I'm not blushing. If I'm not mistaken from the powder blush duo this one right here is peaches which I absolutely love peaches and I know a lot of us love peaches so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the cheeks oh my gosh look how gorgeous <laughs> and hopefully you all can see that a little too much girl a little too much but I think oh my crazy hair but I think it's a, this color goes with any skin tone. Absolutely love peaches. Definitely one of MAC's best selling blushes for sure. So that is what it looks like on the cheeks. Lastly in the kits, we have the eyeshadow quad. This one is called Stay With Me, but there's the soft pink again and the floral design. If you've been watching me for a while, I am a complete sucker for purple. So this 
is a definite yes for me. So this shadow right here is a matte finish and it is called Daddy Star. This one is a Veluxe Pearl finish and it is called Yes. Have this deeper rich purple this one is called Queen Patrick and it is a frost finish it's a matte finish and it is called Bonnet <laughs> Next is the Miso Fleek box. This is the face chart for Miso Fleek. And on the back, it has the same message that the other face chart did as well. First, let's start off with the lip glass. This very nice pink is called Queen P. This is a retro matte finish. This one is called Hey Boy Hey. It's not inclusive to just this lipstick, but with other retro matte finish lipsticks, I've noticed that sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get these on. And I first noticed that with Relentlessly Red, when the retro matte lipstick finishes first came out, Relentlessly Red was one of those colors that looked so amazing in the tube, and I absolutely love the color. But occasionally, it was really difficult to apply on the lips. I mean, the color is gorgeous, as you can see, and I am always a sucker for purples, so I really, really love the color. I had to pull this out just to compare. This is also a retro matte finish. This is Riri Boy. Right up top here is Hey Boy Hey, and this one is Riri Boy. And I want to say Hey Boy Hey is kind of like a lighter version of heroin. Heroin is definitely more of a deeper purple. Not sure if it's just me, but... It can't just be me. This lipstick definitely reminds me of Flat Out Fabulous. I cannot find and I'm pretty sure it's been a hot hot minute since I first purchased Flat Out Fabulous. But that's the color that definitely comes to mind with this lipstick. So we have the Powder Blush Duo for this kit. This one is called Take Me Home. have the eyeshadow quad for this kit this one is called play with me her shadow right here is called in living pink and it is a frost finish Next, I have this matte finish which is called all's rosy I have this shadow which is a frost finish and it is called hickey Last but not least this gorgeous blue is called in the shadows and again it is a frost finish Based off the swatches that you all saw and also based off the experience that I had with the products, I can't say that I prefer one kit over the other and it's a bummer. It it just sucks. It does that these products aren't available individually because I know speaking for myself as a person, as you all know, who has a whole bunch of makeup, there are definitely some products like the lipsticks are gorgeous. I absolutely love the bullets. The collector inside of me is like, oh my gosh, yes. But the more rational side of me is like, girl, you probably have a whole bunch of nudie lipsticks. Like, no, so it is unfortunate. It sucks that these products aren't available individually. There's not one kit that I prefer over the other. They're both really, really nice. It just depends the kind of look that you're going for. What really kills me is, I'm sorry, I keep looking at the products, but what really kills me is the eyeshadow quads because they both have colors that are just like, oh my gosh, I'm absolutely living for these colors. So I really can't wait to try out this blue. As always, if you did find this video informational, please don't forget to give this video 
a huge thumbs up for me. I would truly, truly appreciate it. That motivates me to keep making my videos, even if you don't comment. And also, if you're not subscribed, girl, what's coming up next? Yeah. Let me just tell you, there's some collections coming out. I cannot wait. As always, I just can't. So definitely, if you're not, join the fam. Hit that red subscribe button for me. I would truly appreciate that as well. Don't forget, don't leave without letting me know your thoughts. Like, yay, nay. I think 4950 is a great value for the amount of products that you're getting. This alone is what, $38, $36, $38? And if the whole kit costs, again, I'm not trying to justify, I'm just saying. But I completely understand, I respect, you know, we work hard for our money. So it's ultimately up to you. Do you boo-boo? If you can, I would definitely recommend going to your store, going to your counter to check out and swatch these products. I'm pretty sure Ulta is getting it as well to swatch, to try on. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Don't forget, do not leave this video without letting me know your thoughts down below. Let's chat it up as always. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video. Bye everyone!